Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on finding correlations between stocks using Python and Polygon. What's the problem we're trying to solve? Well, the underlying idea here is that by diversifying across uncorrelated stocks, you can typically reduce your portfolio risk and mitigate the impact of market fluctuations. Finding stocks that move together and those that don't is often a critical aspect of solving this sort of problem. We have the full text of this tutorial on our website, and it walks you through what stock correlation is, step-by-step -step instructions on how to compute it, and gives you a few examples. But what I wanted to do in this video was basically walk through these examples and sort of bring them to life. So let's get started. Obviously, if you want to create a correlation matrix to see if two or more stocks move together, you'll need some sort of financial data. We'll be using Polygon here to access the APIs. You'll need an API key to authenticate, and you can sign up here. Polygon is a financial data platform that provides both real-time and historical stock market data for stocks, options, indices, forex, and crypto. There's a bunch of different API endpoints that offer quick and easy access to all sorts of market data. The really neat thing that I like here is that you can programmatically access all this using your favorite programming languages. We also have great documentation for the REST API as well as streaming data via the WebSocket. There's a bunch of pre-built client libraries, but today we'll be focusing on Python. All right, so let's head over to the docs for a moment. Since we're looking at stock data, we'll be using the aggregate bars API to fetch end of day close price data. I'm using end of day data here, but you could also select different options and what you're looking for. Since we're gonna access this using Python, I'm gonna use the client library. If we scroll down here, you can see it's easy to install with a pip command, and then you import it into your project and specify your API key. All right, so let's dive into the examples. I'll just go into the examples directory here, and you can see we have a bunch of different demo scripts. But the one I'm interested in is called Demo Correlation Matrix. All right, so let's jump over to the command line and check it out. I've cloned the entire Polygon Python client repo here so that we get all the examples, and we'll look at the Correlation Matrix demo script. I tried to add pretty good instructions here, but if you find something, please just submit an issue or a PR. Here's the libraries you'll need to install. Chances are you have most of these already, but here's the command if you need it. Next, you'll need to have an API key. You can go get that from the Polygon website. I like using environment variables to store my API key just so I don't upload it to GitHub, but you can also enter it manually. Then there's a symbols array that you can put your stock tickers into that you're interested in building a correlation matrix for. I have some examples here, so we don't need to worry about that. Then here's where you select the dates you're interested in. If we scroll down, here's the data fetch function. This connects to Polygon with your API key and pulls the data down, puts it into a pandas data frame, and uses the timestamp and close price. If we scroll down a little more, here's the daily returns calculation function, how we build the correlation matrix. Finally, we create our visualizations, and that's about it. All right, so let's jump over to the command line and actually test it out. So what are we looking at? Well, you can read this by looking at the columns and rows. See AMD here and then NVIDIA over here. Say you wanted to figure out how correlated these stocks are or how often AMD and NVIDIA are moving together over the past year. This gives us a ranking of 0 0.86, which is a pretty strong correlation. So they typically move together. Also, when you run this, you should see a visualization pop up and it should look like this, which personally I prefer since it gives you a way to quickly scan based on a color-coded heat map. You can instantly see here that these are all pretty highly correlated stocks, meaning that all these stocks typically move in tandem, at least during the time frame we're interested in. Great, so let's look at another example. Uh, we'll head back to the script and switch the symbol lists around. This time we'll look at stocks across a variety of sectors and see what the correlation looks like there. Let's run the script again. Now you see our values here, but let's just flip over to the visualization as I think it's much more telling and quite a bit different. For example, you can see Home Depot here and Exxon don't have much of a correlation, meaning that they don't typically move in tandem. The reason is that since we randomly selected stocks across a variety of sectors, they're affected by different market forces and conditions. And because of that, they're much less correlated. Great, let's look at our final example by going back to the script and switching the symbol list around again. This time we'll look at two groups of stocks, five from the technology sector and five from the oil sector. Let's save this. We'll jump back to the command line and run it again. 
we get the readout here, but let's check out the visualization. This one I think is pretty neat in that you can clearly see the two distinctive groups here. We have our tech and oil stocks. Each group is pretty highly correlated in the respective groups, but not with each other. Great, so these are pretty simple examples that prove the setup is working and it shows you how to classify stocks based on their correlation. Hopefully if you're trying to solve a problem in this space, you can use this script to get up and running. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.